Right, question four. Question four here is all about all these angles here. We've got a whole sorts of lines going in different directions. And we also um, got some that meet here. And we've got to find all the missing letters and put the answers in here. I think a good way to go about this might be to have a look and remind ourselves about a couple of little things. So, oh, if we go here, we can see we've got a straight line along the bottom here. We've got a green angle and a blue angle. Now, oh, I can split it into different angles. How about that? So I've actually got three angles. So red, blue, and green all have to add up to 180. So let's have a look. Let's check these all add up to. Let's add up the 70 and the 70 that makes 140. 143 plus on 7 makes 150 and then on 30 makes 180. So we know that in straight line there's going to be 180 degrees and no matter if I change one then the other one goes up. If I change one this way and no matter how it works and if I twist this one around there and I twist this one around there you can see that no matter what all three of these angles add up to 180 degrees because I've got this straight line going along the bottom here so all the angles on a straight line equal 180 so let's make a quick note of that so just to remind us we know that straight lines equal 180 degrees but some of these aren't, some of these all meet together in a point. So it's not like, well, so A and 42 is, you can see there's a straight line going on here. We might be able to work that one out. So if we did 180 minus 42, it's given here as well. Take off 40 is 140. Take off 2 is 138. So we know that this one is 138 degrees. So we've done that one. Okay. And we can actually work out C by using the same rule. We can see here, we can see, no, that wasn't a joke. Um, we can see if I get a highlighter and I go along here, there's a straight line there. So we know that this angle here and this angle here must also be 180. So we could do 180 and minus 70 degrees. And that gives us 110 degrees. So we know that C must be 110 degrees. And the same way, if I took that out and actually highlighted it in a different way, if I looked at oh, if I looked at this straight line going down here, I can tell that this angle and this angle must almost be 180 but I know that this one was 110 so if I do 180 minus 110 some of you will already spotted what's going on that tells me that angle B must be 70 degrees okay so using straight lines that's okay but the problem is these straight lines don't carry on you can see it goes here and then bends around the corner they kind of all these lines kind of crash at this middle point here so we need to have a look at something else so, if we go back here, and we look at this next diagram, you can see here this is a bit the same, where we've got all these lines meeting at a point, all at some kind of funny angle. So, what we can see here is, well, let's do a quick add up. We've got 131, we've got 100. And, eight, and we've got 121. Let's all add these up. That makes 1, 2, that makes 10, doesn't it? So let's carry the 1. 3, 4, 5, 6. And this one's 1, 2, 3, 360. But if I, if I move this, you can see that this one's gone up by 20. So we've added on 20 here to make it 128, but we've taken off 20 there. So the answer still must be 360. And in fact, when you meet at this point, because it's a full turn around here, no matter where I put 
these and change them, if I change one, the other one, one gets bigger, the other one gets smaller, you're always going to get 360 degrees. So, that's kind of like our next little rule. So, angles at a point, so if they all meet and they collide, like in, or here, and they're here, and they don't make nice straight lines, and in fact here as well, the whole lot all the way around the outside is 360 degrees. And that can help us out. So let's look at this one. We've got 111, we've got 127, we've got 38, and we've got something we want to find out. So let's add these up. What do we get here? 15, 16, carry one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 2. So we know that this one, this one here, this one here, and this one here all add up to 276. And I want a total of 360. So if I take off 276, if I do 360, take off 276, then I can work out what this missing angle D is. Or I work out what I have to add on here to get to 360. So I add on 4, 24 to get to 300. And then another 60. So it's got to be 84, hasn't it? 84 degrees. So I know that this one in here is 84. And I think I might have run out of colour, so I might have black left. Okay. That means we've got to work out this one down here, E. Well, this one's a little bit more straightforward because I've just got to do 360 minus 140. Because I know everything all together is going to be 360. I know this bit's 140. So take off 100 is 260. Take off 40 is 220. So I know this angle E is 220 degrees. And that's it. That's my uh, problem done. Oh.